exciting, guys. I've partnered with Omaze to give you guys the chance to win an official 1967, gone in 60 seconds, Ford Mustang Eleanor. Plus, you get $20,000 in cash and shipping and taxes are included. To enter, go to this website right now, omaze.com slash blondie. It's that easy. Type it in for your chance to win this baby. What is super cool is it has all of the details from the car Nicolas Cage drove in the movie. Check this out. There you go. There's your nitrous oxide tank in the back. <laughs> Imagine picking your mates up in this. How mad would that be? You have got the go baby go button. That's mandatory, of course. And then the nitrous switch here. Turn on the nitrous oxide in the back. is a little bit different than the one you could win. The one you could win is a fully updated, hand-built, licensed Eleanor from Fusion Motor Company. And that one's gonna have all the mod cons. So you're gonna get a navigation system and it also has an automatic transmission. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Go to this link right now. It's omaze.com slash blondie for your chance to win this car, a 1967 Ford Mustang Eleanor, officially licensed, all taxes and shipping included, plus $20,000 in cash. Go check it out. All right, guys, let's get straight back to it. It's a Ferrari waterfall. What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie. Let's get straight to it. I've got the newest Ferrari on the market, the F8 Tributo. that this is the newest Ferrari on the market. Number one, it has the Ferrari waterfall. If you see that there's a massive chunk of hood missing out of the front of the car, this is one of those features that you can tell it's the newest on the market. This is actually called an S-duct. Okay, it goes all the way through and that helps with downforce. Number two, these headlights have been updated, the design. So they actually cut off here. Whereas in the predecessor, they used to go all the way up here. Now, the predecessor is the 488 GTB. This basically replaces the 488 on the market, right? So the F8 is like the new, new, new 488. Right, number three, if you see this car passing you, how can you tell that it's the F8? It has four taillights here, okay, on the back. Whereas the 488 only had two. And number four, it has these big vents that kind of curve around those tail lights. So if you see all those things in combination, you know you're looking at the F8 Tributo. Right, take a look at this. Here's the engine, and I love that you can see straight in to this, and it's covered by this kind of plasticky, flimsy layer, but that's okay. What's most important is that we can actually see what we're working with. I love that. And so this is a 3.9 liter twin turbo V8, and it could actually be the very last twin turbo V8 that Ferrari ever brings to the market. Standard Ferrari key. All right, and we'll do that here. And then there's a little thingy me bob. Pull that up and look what is in here. This is a plaque of all your optional extras that you have paid for. So basically this shows you how much cash you have splashed on this car. For example, you've got the Scuderia Ferrari logo shields. That's an optional extra and the 20 inch diamond forged rims. So you can basically see there and remind yourself why you are now poor. <laughs> you spend too much on damn optional extras. Let me show you what they are. So these are optional extras. These are the shields that it just pointed to in there. And also these are the diamond forged rims. There are a whole bunch of things that you can get added extra to this car, like any sports car or supercar. Look at this. You've still got this like old school key. I'm not sure why they still have that because a lot of supercars today, modern supercars do not have that, right? All right, let's go inside. This key, has a nice little slot holder. 
right there. That's always handy. What they've updated from the 488 is, for example, these air vents. There are a few different updates. So these ones now round like the F12. They've updated all of these little dials here and buttons. To me, this is a bit disappointing. It looks kind of bland. It's not very luxe, all of these buttons. For something that you're paying almost $300,000 for this car, 275,000 for entry entry basic model and then all the added optional extras i just feel like this is a bit basic to me you know i'm loving all of the carbon fiber detailing but i'm sure that's an optional extra as well all right let's hear her shall we this is what the f8 tributo sounds like all right all right head round the back as usual <laughs> display it's actually touch screen look at that and you can go into media look if I'm playing the radio you can see web station but you don't actually have any control over it as a passenger which is kind of annoying I think you can go into navigation and see where you're going you can go into performance I think that's probably the one that most passengers would keep it on if I rev you're gonna be able to see it there from the passenger seat you can flick both paddles back and it goes into neutral. Why does that matter? Because it means that wherever you are, if you're driving, if you're stationary on the road, flick it back into neutral and you can start revving this baby. And it's so easy to do. And then once you have to drive off again, flick it back into first and off you go. The McLaren doesn't have that. My McLaren 720S, there is actually a neutral button down here that I have to press to go into neutral. And it's such a small thing, but it makes such a difference. Supercar drivers want to flick it into neutral really quickly to rev a couple of times and then back into first. McLaren, listen up. This is what we want. <laughs> We're working with 710 horsepower, guys. 710. That's the same as my McLaren 720S. I think what's going to annoy some people is that this car now has the same engine as the 488 P-Star. You've got the same horsepower as something that costs $450,000 and this one can go for $275,000. So if you bought a P-Star before this came out, I think you'd be kind of a little bit pissed off. <laughs> All right, here's what it feels like. Woohoo! Yeah, this is nice, guys. I had an option of buying the P-Star um, and I was just like, I'm not a huge fan of how Ferrari kind of plays around in the back end. Um, you have to be super careful in corners. You need to know exactly how it's going to respond. Otherwise, it's going to kind of like scoot around in the rear. I think if you get used to it, I think it would be quite a cool car to drive. Um, what's cool, I love this. The rev lights here. This is cool. Look at those lights. So that indicates to you when you should be shifting. I actually borrowed this car from Superior Rental Cars here in Dubai. They actually are very impressive because they always have the latest cars on the market. This car, <laughs> I couldn't even get from Ferrari. It's not even here yet. They have it as a rental car company. So thank you guys so, so much for lending me this car. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And by the way, I wanted to say a massive thank you to my YouTube family. You guys, we've just surpassed 4 million subs. That is crazy. Thank you guys so, so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We have so many cool things happening. Right, what I'm gonna do now is at every video, at the end of each video, I'm gonna ask you a question. Please put your answers in the comments section. I'm gonna choose the best three comments and read them out with your handle. So you get a shout out on my next YouTube video, all right? So my question today is this. If you could name this Ferrari anything, absolutely anything, what would it be? Wrong answers only. Go crazy. All right, guys, until next vid, love ya. We're out.